Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Welcome back, 30. 30- no, 17 till the hour. Thank you very much. I'm having, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with, with, the, with, the, with dates and words and times today for some reason. I don't know what it is. I'm Jim Blassing. I'm pretty sure about that. I think I got that right. And I am the Small Business Advocate. I know that's right. And my website is smallbusinessadvocate.com, and that's right. And I'm pretty sure that our guest this half hour is Brad Huskin. Brad, is that you? Are you there? Yes, it is. Thank me. God, I and got it. You know what I, they say? Uh, the first thing that goes is the mind. That's right. Thank <laughs> God, I got that part right, and thank, and thank God, I've got his books in front of me, so I can read that. I'm there a salesman, not a PhD, and and much is for salespeople, and uh, also he's the leader of uh, of, a, of a, a conference, a business, a small business conference called Business Strategies and, S- and Solutions Conference that uh, they're going to do in in June in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, one of the things you're going to be contributing to that conference, Brad, is uh, is what you call the psychology of sales. Now, I want you to give my audience a little bit of a peek into what you're going to tell that audience. Well, part of it is I really think that it's back to the future selling is what I call it. And way back when, when uh, you know the, the the country was just brand new, and uh, let's just just take the 1848 gold rush for example. You know, thousands and thousands of people went to the West Coast to, to find their fortune and uh, mining gold and all those other things. And there's one guy that says, you know what, I don't really want to get my fingers dirty. I'm going to open up a place where these people can come and buy things from me with all their gold. And so he did that. And then uh, he said, I'm going to mine gold from the gold miners. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, somebody that was working for him got smart and said, well, this is too easy a gig for this guy. I'm going to open up a place across the street. Right. And then competition was born. And uh, so that's what I mean, back to the future selling is way back when uh, merchants and businesses, they all knew their customers on a first-name basis. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it was say, hey, Jim, how are you doing today? He said, well, I'm doing great. You know, I just need to get this, this, and this. And he'd say, okie dokie. And then competition was formed. And um, I think it really goes back to you got to know your customers on an individual one-on-one basis. In order to do that, you have to understand what's going on in their head. And you know, and you know, uh, Brad, that was that. As you say, that was that was that was the past. That was original. That was the founding. Those were the founding uh, elements. And in in a large for a long time in the twenty in the twentieth century, mass media, mass selling, big boxes, et cetera, et cetera, uh, caused a lot of a lot of people to to sort of accept the the impersonal approach to business but the truth is we're we're going back we're re- re- reverting back to our our original elements now i think more and more people are wanting more as as nesbit said 30 years ago more high touch he prophesied so. that he profi- prophesied this 30 years ago didn't he yeah exactly and what i like to say is and that's good news for small accept, business brad it, it really is we learn to accept mediocrity through the big box people and i don't think that uh, yeah mediocrity is uh, you know what, what what's going to be the future that's right and uh, i think people want that relationship with the people that they buy from and you know somebody asked me where my wife's driving a honda accord right now and somebody said why'd you buy a honda the only answer i come up with is that's where ray works and ray's <laughs> my buddy in the car business and every car we bought we bought from him so <laughs> i mean it's, it's just that simple and uh you know, you know, it's it's get to know your people on the first name basis. Well, that's customers. right. I, I, uh, 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 some one of my family members was in my office yesterday. He's starting a new gig, and he's talking about how much competition is already out there. I said, I said, hey, remember this: people don't do business with products; they do business with people. Exactly. They don't do business with companies; they do business with people. If you can get, if you can go call on these people and, and make them like you, serve them better. That's how it works. That's the name of the game. And it's yeah. all comes down to communication skills and understanding your customer and the psychology behind it. And, uh, you know, somebody said to me, if I could teach one selling skill and only one selling skill, which one would it be? And I know you know the answer to this, but it's 
by gosh, you've got to be a great listener. Yep. Because customers will tell you everything. You use your mouth you and your ears in proportion, don't you? That's why Daddy told me I was born with two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> even if you did, even if even if even if the mouth is big, right? <laughs> exactly. You should be listening twice as much as you're talking. And yeah. The same thing is true with sales. So uh, get out there and listen to your customers. Find out what the emotional tie is to whatever there is that you're selling. Isn't with. it amazing, even with big decisions, how much emotion is involved in transactions? Our friend, uh, Tom, Tom uh, 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 oh shoot, I, 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 I've lost his name. Anyway, I'll say, I'll think of it in a second. Uh, but, he, but he's talked to us about how, how much emotion is involved, even in big, in, even in big, uh, big transactions, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, somebody's buying a house or Somebody's having their yard landscaped. Or mm-hmm. Even their, you know, they're taking their son or daughter or granddaughter out for their high school graduation. I mean, there's an emotional tie to that. Right. And if the person that's uh, dealing with that customer can share in that emotional excitement and, uh, you know, show the same enthusiasm that the customers are showing, then that's where relationships are starting to be developed. Right. No question. And no question. we lost sight of that. So. How did we lose sight of it? Brad. Well, I think it's exactly what you said. We got used to incompetence out there, and we got used to mediocrity. And uh, somebody said it was okay, and I'm just saying, you know, it's not okay anymore. And uh, you know, get out there and do the right things, and be a great listener, and focus on the emotional reason behind the purchase, and really love your customers because there, there's nothing more important than the customer today. Right. Say, will you say that again? That's going to be on the test, folks. I said, there's nothing more important than the customer today. Right. Absolutely. That's exactly right. Brad Huskin, ladies and gentlemen, is our guest. And uh, go, be sure to check out his website, iastraining.com, and you can find all the things that he does there, including their conference. And by the way, Tom's name is Tom Asacker, the name I couldn't get out for some reason. Tintail, stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.